your final thoughts. Yes, General Flynn effed up, and that's why General Flynn resigned. End of story. Of course not. The hard left in Obama's shadow White House think this is a dream scenario. They hope this will tank the Trump administration. They also thought they'd win the 2016 election, so as usual, they would be wrong, wrong, and wrong. But the witch hunt continues. The same Democrats who are still whining about the DNC leak are super stoked about this leak. But then again, they are still suffering from a monumental loss in November, one they in the mainstream media have learned nothing from. But still, they continue their warpath to somehow change election results, and now they want an investigation. Funny. Again, these same Democrats told us the Benghazi investigation was a waste of time and taxpayer money. Four dead Americans wasn't worth it, but this, this needs an investigation. They are so freaking desperate to delegitimize Donald Trump's presidency, they froth at the mouth over everything, literally everything. And need I remind folks once again, General Flynn messed up and therefore General Flynn resigned. This isn't about Flynn. This is about the Democrats and their sick desire to declare Trump dead before his cabinet is even assembled. Oh, and do you want to talk about fake news? Let's go there. The New York Times published a story on Flynn's resignation, which included tweets from a parody account. Yeah, the newspaper of record right there. In the tweet, someone pretending to be Flynn said he was a scapegoat for what happened. Quoting a parody account is low, even for the New York Times, but at least they issued a correction. A correction House Democrats apparently weren't privy to. Yeah, Nancy Pelosi, the woman who just last week declared she couldn't work with President Bush, is at it again, and this time quoting fake tweets. I didn't know until I heard from our colleague uh, that the uh, tweet of General Flynn today was scapegoat. Scapegoat. Do you know what a scapegoat is? That means in, in a community where people want to absolve themselves of guilt, they get a goat and they heap all of the ills onto the goat and then they run the goat out of town. Really, Nancy. But she wasn't the only one quoting a fake Perry General Flynn tweet. You're up, Representative Cummings. Something is wrong here. Madam Leader, just this morning, Flynn tweeted, and this is a quote, scapegoat, end of quote. Scapegoat. He basically described himself as a scapegoat. The Democrats want an investigation, and they want this to be taken seriously, and yet they are quoting from a Twitter account with the name not Michael Flynn. And why do they fall for this fake account? Bad interns, poor eyesight, probably. Or maybe they were reading the New York Times, which messed it up first. Again, if the Democrats and the mainstream media think they're going to hold the administration accountable, they might want to start at home first. Oh, and for the record, Democrats, Snowflakes, mainstream media, Tribe Called Quest, Sarah Silverman, and the rest of you, remember this. You can't impeach Trump if he's not your president, right? But happy witch hunting. Those are my final thoughts. Follow me on my real Twitter and Instagram, at Tommy Laren from Dallas. God bless, and take care.